Hey guys, it's Tuesday, April 2nd. Um, I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about our weekend. So Friday, as you guys know, Good Friday, I made fish cakes. Saturday, Kaylee came down for a little while. I didn't record her or do anything with her because we just spent time with her. Sunday, we made a ham for Easter dinner. We're still eating the ham. We still have leftovers from it. I had uh, um, breakfast with it this morning, so I had uh, I fried up some ham in the frying pan and fried up a couple of eggs. And we dog sat last night. Oh boy, that was an adventure, let me tell you. I'm just gonna sit you guys here. So we watched Mike's daughter's dog because they went to Halifax for the night. So um, the kid's father watched, watched them for a portion and then he came down here at like seven o'clock last night and spent the night. And then um, Jason picked him up again today at 12. That was an adventure. I probably look horrible right now because I'm tired. So my eyes are puffy and swelled. <laughs> Don't mind it because I didn't sleep well. Because Diesel, I have a couple of clips that I'll insert when I'm done talking about this. But um, he, he was up all night. He was walking back and forth and crying. And I think he was just homesick. Because there's another dog that's up there. And that dog didn't come down. Just Diesel did. So Ella was still home. So I think he missed his family and he missed um, Ella as well. So yeah, he we didn't sleep very well at all. We got up at like 6.30. I had to come back to bed for a while. Odie slept in with us and it was just, just a little bit crazy. So another thing that happened last night is we, Mike and I went outside to look for something. We were out on the step. We went to go back in the house and the door was locked. Diesel locked us out of the apartment. I know it wasn't Odie because Odie's too short. Odie's never done that before. He's never been able to reach the uh, the deadbolt. So it's a good thing Mike has a habit of carrying his um, keys around in his pocket. So we were able to get back into the apartment luckily. So yeah, we're pretty beat today. So I'm not really doing much of anything. So, But I will show you guys quickly what I got for Easter. But I'm going to insert the clips of Diesel playing with Pumpkin. They're like best friends now. Pumpkin absolutely adores them. I thought Pumpkin was going to be afraid of them. Because Diesel's a pit bull. And I figure, you know, Pumpkin's going to be afraid. Tigger stayed away from them all night. But Pumpkin, no, no. As soon as Diesel stopped playing, Pumpkin would run at him and attack his tail. <laughs> so, but just bear with me a minute. I'll show you guys those clips and I'll be right back. He's not afraid of them. No. I'll tell you who the bully is in this situation. He calmed down, laying down, chewing on his bone, and look. <laughs> They're both babies, eh? Pumpkin's only 10 months old and Diesel's like 6 or 7, so they're, two of them are babies. No, he's just like, and I don't, Tigger must be under the bed. <laughs> he likes that bone. Pumpkin. Okay, so some of this stuff you guys probably seen because I didn't really keep it secret, but Mike got me a solid chocolate bunny. True story on this, I bought, we, Mike got one of these too. I got one for him. 
he bit it and one of his um, teeth fell out of his denture so I had to buy a repair kit for that so we're waiting for that to come in the mail which reminds me I gotta check on that and you guys seen these from Temu so he got me these I have a hard time with my knees sometimes I can't bend down to put my shoes on so these are just slip-ons so I figured these would be nice for the spring and then my Audrey Hefburn sweater that was part of my Easter gift you guys seen that already I love this love that so you guys seen that anyway and then this is a few things that he picked me up so he got me this Olivia Rose brush and it's a brush and hair dryer set you know one of those racks for your hair I had to throw one of mine away because it got pretty bad so we've seen that at the dollar store and I said you can get me that like I said Next year, we won't do the holidays. We'll probably just get each other a bunny or something. But this year is our first year together as a married couple. So we're kind of, we're treating each other this year. And most of the stuff is, well, Tamu is cheap and the Dollar Ram is cheap. So he got me this at the dollar store. So we didn't go overboard is what I'm trying to say. And this is just supposed to be one of those, it's a volcanic stone facial roller it's supposed to be good for like touching up if you get a little bit oily in the day and he bought me another one of the elf liquid blushes i'm gonna have to be very careful with this because the lighter color that i got is extremely pigmented so i can only imagine what this one's gonna be like and that's basically what i got for easter i got him um a pair of sweatpants that i ordered for him and they didn't come in yet um and Oh, I got him one of these. I showed you guys that too from Temu. And uh, it's black. He just wanted a plain one, but he loves it. He's been filling it up twice a day. Um, he went to the optometrist and he was told that he has dry eye. So he's supposed to drink two liters of water a day. Take like um, three omega-3s and put eye drops in his eyes three times a day. So... He's been drinking a lot of water, so that's helping out with that. I got to start drinking more water. Um, I drink a lot of tea in the day, and then I do drink pop, like Diet Pepsi or Diet Ginger Ale, but I mostly drink it in the evenings. I drink tea most of the day. But anyway, that is, I thought I'd update you guys on that and a little bit of what was going on. I'm really tired, like I said. Um, so I'm probably just going to have... I don't know something very simple for supper tonight nothing crazy nothing that i have to vlog about so i'm gonna go put this stuff away now and i'll talk to you guys in a bit hey guys i already ate mine but i'm gonna show you guys mike's dinner plate um he probably not gonna eat everything that's on his plate because it's a lot <coughs> for supper we had what we referred to i guess is hash i guess mike mm -hmm. this would be considered hash right yeah so I guess, I don't know if it's an East Coast or a Cape Breton term, but basically this is leftovers from boiled dinner, ham dinner. So it's your carrots, your turnip, your cabbage, your potatoes all mashed together and you just add some ham in it and you fry it up in the frying pan. Let Mike eat his. That's what we had for supper tonight. I already ate mine. So yeah, <laughs> it's just a way to use up all your leftovers so then that way you're not wasting. It's yeah if he doesn't eat that's literally all that's left that last little bit i already ate mine well it's not a little bit it's quite a lot it's very filling so whatever mike doesn't eat will be thrown out to the the seagulls and the pigeons and stuff and they'll eat it they'll have a feast on it because i won't give it to odie there's nothing in it that odie can't have but i don't know if dogs are allowed to have cabbage so i know they're let they can have carrots and turnip but just to be on the safe side, none for Odie. All right, guys, I'm going to end this one here. I'm wiped, so I'm just going to relax for the rest of the night, and I'll talk to you guys all in the next one. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye, everyone.